It's going to be on Bobby Portis. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, the big man not going to slow him down from getting that deuce. Assist from. Yeah, attack mode from the start. Exactly what you want coming into this game. Tone setting right here early. Love that tenacity. And it's on to Kumpo with a miss. And last season's scoring champion, Joel Embiid, the first center to lead the league in scoring since Big Shaq way back in the 2000 season. Here's Harris. And Harris throws it down. That's a strong finish from Tobias Harris. And he's able to get it back. Fast break, Philadelphia. Harden with it. Guarded now by Holiday. And they'll keep possession. And Tucker gets it to go. It's Middleton on the wing. To the inside. On to Kumpo. Add that to his line. Now three for six. And Joel Embiid, last season, the first center to average over 30 a game since Moses Malone did it back in 1982, Grant. Oh, B.A., talk about historic company. And how about this? Also the first ever international player to lead the NBA in scoring, too. I mean, he won't be the last with the way things are. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Inside. And the jam by Ana de Kumpo. And just a monster slam from Giannis that time. Pass to Embiid. And here's Tucker to stop the run. Yes, and it's Embiid picking up the assist. Tucker's got five now. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Now here's Ana de Kumpo. Give him eight points now. Good on the shot. And that's some determination there from Atenta Kumpo. Able to bully his way through the defenders. Multiple that time while shooting the ball. Pass to Portis. To the middle. Oh, got a piece of it. Here's Harris. Down low. And Tucker gets it to go. He's got seven. Good positioning inside from P.J. Tucker and just going to work. You know, in the past several seasons, there's been one constant with the 76ers. They're going to be among the best defensive teams in the league. Now here's Tucker. He has seven. Harris is green. The three is up. Tucker, no good. Now the Bucks with it. Back to Ana de Kumpo. Pass to Connaughton. To the paint. And Giannis throws it down. Every night Giannis steps out there, you got to feel like you got a good chance to win. Back to Tucker. Let's it fly. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. I just don't think they want him taking that kind of shot. Again, his teammates are just laughing, shaking their heads there on the bench. Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. And Holiday, here we go. And he banks in the layup. This is how you ruin an opposing team's defense. Holiday runs inside and finds the easy shot there. As a big, once you get position inside, it allows you to fight and come away with a lot of tough boards. 15. Giannis Antetokounmpo has been on. 17. And that a big round of applause for your Sixers. Good action already in this one. But a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. And when you can...
consider how the Bucks are doing, guys. Your thoughts? Well, there's no reason to take risky shots when you can collect points at the rim. Yeah, that worked wonders for them in the quarter. We'll see what kind of adjustments get made. Right wing. Now here's Holiday. On to Kumpo, right side. Second shot opportunity. Giannis and it's good on the layup. On to Kumpo has got 14. Well, statistically, he's a better rebounder at the defensive end, but this time Giannis extending, getting that extra possession and putting it down. Personal foul. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the continuity for the Bucks is a strength. Chris Middleton said, quote, we've been through every type of situation, so you know what to expect. There's no need to worry about failing because you know what you need to do. Brian, some call it corporate knowledge. Well, key aspect when it comes to NBA dynasties. Thanks, Alex. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but that's warm up. So maybe just a step too far. It wasn't an easy road to the NBA for P.J. Tucker. Brett, he spent most of his early career in Europe. Yeah, those first five years, he never gave up on the dream to get back stateside and play in the league. So working hard on his game, understanding his game, and he's been such a great player for this past decade with a ring to show for it. And we played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. And the call will be against James Harden. That's his first foul of the game. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Pass to Crowder. Here's Lopez. And it's Lopez with the jam. And Jay Crowder moving it to the open man. Harden. Off with the layup. He creates such a great opportunity right at the rim. He just can't get it to go, even with the defense not really a factor. It's such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Outside hard. Here's Harold. And Harold throws it down. The shot's going up. It's fun to watch the way that Montrez Harrell will attack a rebound, crucial to this offense and his production. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Allen brings a double team. Outside Tucker. The three is up. And the 76ers, another three. Making the most of his three-point chances. That's Tucker just spotted up and ready to go. Assisted by. I give a ton of credit to the Bucks front office beyond trading for Holiday and of course re-signing Giannis. I love how they filled in with those guys around that star power. Milwaukee MB drawing the double team. That's his first. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. Crowder with a steal. You could stay active on defense. Good things usually happen. Right there, quick hands helped alter what would have been a sure two there. That was execution to perfection. Textbook transition offense. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. gets it to go. Well, Brent, seems like every year the Bucks have to replace a key rotation player. Yeah, and tricky because they don't have the financial wherewithal to spend a ton of money with the contracts that have been given out. So it's about the right fit, the right personnel, and I think front office and coaching staff do a great job of identifying who those players are. Tucker, no good. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. 
Here's Lopez. Again, the box. Good for two. Just incredible the way that Brook Lopez has changed his game to the outside. The offensive rebound. That shot off. The Sixers trailing. Pass to Tucker. And stolen by Holiday. Lopez in the post. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's on Joel Embiid. Now we've seen Lopez be more and more assertive in looking for his shot, which in turn draws the defense's attention to him. And so here is Philadelphia. Back to Harden. To the inside. Here's Embiid. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And the moment MB gets the ball anywhere near the hoop, it's over. Too strong to stop without fouling. And he can't hit the second. Pass to Lopez. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Assisted by Lopez has got 11 points in the quarter. How about Drew Holiday? Unselfish, team first player. Love that from the guard position. Embiid can't hit. Yeah, better than giving up the layup. You want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. 38. And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. Connaughton outside. Here's Lopez. Right side, Holiday. Stolen by Harden. Pass to Harold. I'll tell you what, a lot can be said about the contract Harden took to stay in Philly. He took less than what he commanded to help the team sign depth and rotation players. A very big gesture from Harden, showing just how much he wants to win in Philly. Over and back call, always avoidable. So you want to get your coach fired up? Do something like that right there. That kind of loss of concentration will drive your coach crazy. Here's Tucker. No good from outside. And the finish on the break with the slam. Fundamental play there from Lopez, spotting the open man and sending him the ball. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Harden. And Crowder not giving up an inch on that shot attempt. Can't get the put back. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's his first personal foul. That one on Tucker. First team back. Petty play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Grant, it's a shooter's league, and we're seeing more and more big men float out to the perimeter and knocking them down. Well, B.A., the game has evolved, and the shooting, particularly from the bigs, is fantastic. But, you know, I wish the bigs had a little bit more diversity. I don't mind shooting from the perimeter, but every once in a while, go mix it up and take advantage of your size mismatch in the paint. Holiday doubled up. Crowder outside. Connects from downtown. Crowder's got five. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. We love it. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Here's Milwaukee. Right now on a 9-0 run. Down low. And it's blocked by Embiid. We see it time and time again. Embiid relishes his role as an intimidator. Just five to shoot. Pulls up at the elbow. Jump shot is good. 
He has seven. And he's going to nail these if you give him the space. That's just soft D. The defense also looking defeated. The lack of hustle is driving the coaching staff a little bit batty right now. Bucks on D. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. The other team just looks more in sync and is riding the momentum. Well, the other team is scorching hot, and they come down on this end and can't find a way to get the Embers going. This Sixers squad is struggling. Nothing yet for him here in the third quarter. Well, Brent, for this Milwaukee organization, how big was keeping Giannis? Well, B.A., could you just give me another synonym for massive? I'll take all of them. Because obviously, it is all about Giannis. And the title in 2021 helped big time to keep him in Milwaukee. But imagine if they lost him and went back to square one. You just don't replace guys who are this special. Here's Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. Emphatic slam by Embiid. Not afraid to get physical with the defense. And here's Lopez from the arc. That's off. Five for eight from the floor. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Here's Harrell. Up and in on the layup. Well, the D can't let Montrez Harrell get that close to the rim. He's going to do significant damage. Pass to Connaughton. Here's Holiday, defended by Harden. And here's Crowder from the arc. Rebound by the 76ers. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. And the call will be against James Harden. That'll be a second foul of the game. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. Here's Jogic. Inside, Lopez. No good with a layup. Trying to claw their way back into this. And the best way to do that, minimize your mistakes and take good shots. Incredible. It sometimes falls to the point guard to be the offensive catalyst. Seems like he always knows when his squad needs a lift. Did you see how much air he had under him? Wow. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running. 51. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. Now Philadelphia with it. They trail by 14. And Harden gets the double team. The three ball. Harris misses. Pass to Allen. And here's Lopez. Down to five on the shot clock. For three, Dragic. And it's Harrell with a rebound. And here are the 76ers. Harris outside. And it's Harden penetrating. That falls. Nice setup by Harris. And you know, you can't underestimate Harden's ability to blow by defenders. It opens things up for him on the offensive side. And he's easily led the way on the boards tonight. Well, he's been everywhere, and collecting those rebounds, that ends any kind of offensive possession and gets them started. Rebounded by the Bucks. They led the game at one point by 20. Pass to Lopez. Now here's Jogic. Oh, stolen by Harris. And now the Sixers on the break. And then Harden with 
the jam. Well, for Tobias Harris to take this step, getting away from scoring and finding teammates to become a more adept passer, it's good signs. Pass to Allen. Allen throws the double. Kicks it out to Middleton. Five to shoot. Lopez with it. And the Bucks miss again. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Harden fires away from outside. And they recover it. Outside Tucker. Carroll. Great positioning on the putback. That's a pure effort play. Nice tip in. And that's a skill you see in any strong offensive rebounder, isn't it? Timeout call, Milwaukee. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Over that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what Mike Budenholzer said to the team. He told his squad to pour on the gas, saying, quote, we hold the lead. Let's keep growing it. Be aggressive. This is no time to let up. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Pass to Embiid. And then Embiid with the dunk. And he's now got the double-double. They're doing the job on both ends, getting stops and attacking offensively. Yeah, coaching staff probably loves this, just grinding out defensive possessions, <laughs> which is helping them get back into their offensive flow. Wow. I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. I'd like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Gets the three ball to go. Four three. And it's an 11 point Bucks lead. And an important part of every team's game. A look at the hustle stat for Milwaukee. Well, their D has been a major story tonight. I mean, those steals and putting pressure on the ball, clogging the passing lanes, impressive. Portis gets the bucket easy to keep Bobby Portis away from the painted area where he pours out a lot of room and just works hard. His second personal foul. You don't want to stop the clock First right there. Foul. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. And the Bucks making a change here. And stolen by Middleton. Portis left side. Back to Holiday. To the wing on the left. Porta shot is off. And he's doing things on the glass tonight that we don't often see. Well, this kind of effort will energize the team and get you going, just gobbling up every board. Yeah, the focus of the defense. I mean, James Harden was able to use that attention and turn it into a hoop for someone else. Grayson. Good. Both sides are simply waiting for the clock to make it official. This is going to end up in the books as a nice win for the Bucks. Check out their assist numbers. They didn't get stuck in isolation. They got the ball to the guys who had the best matchups. And we get spoiled sometimes, but we should take a second to appreciate what a sensational performance this has been for Drew Holiday. Serving up feeds all night long. He was the best teammate that they had on the floor. At the line for the Bucks. And no luck at the stripe this time. Second one won't fall. Physicality that Bobby Portis brings to the game is something that his teammates really get behind. It makes him such an effective player out there, impacting the attitude of so many. Pass to Middleton. Fires the three. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. And they have to know that any hope of a comeback is gone. Well, realistic at this stage of the game. They're going to lose this one, but will they take something from the loss? Yeah. Sinks that one from the post. A sequence you might expect from Embiid, an elite rebounder, and the man knows how to finish. So we see the Bucks get the win here.